My name is Terry and it's my first time at Artscape and I came to enjoy it. This is the number one event. This is where people in Baltimore, if they're going to see an outdoor art event, this is where they go. Well, I'm Derek C. King. I was voted Fashion Awards Maryland Best Tailor of the Year 2013. And this here is the Draper that we've actually um, called this. Uh, this is a sport coat that was inspired by the TV show Mad Men. Uh, you have a blue window pane check with like with a nice uh, gold check going through it, paired with a gold and red bow tie with slight accents of blue in there. Uh, I'm Stephen Ways. So I'm here today painting the flat wall behind me. Um, these were actually part of a larger project Boba put together, but unfortunately because of the rain yesterday, it kind of tore them up. So I got here this morning, all the flats were laying on the ground, they were just going to throw them out. And uh, I kind of felt like I wanted to paint something on them. <laughs> so um, I got them all set up about, I don't know, two and a half, three hours ago. And I've just kind of been knocking out a wall, uh, hopefully before the next storm comes. <laughs> This is Artscape. It is America's largest free arts festival. And we've looked nowhere in the United States where we're able to find a similar festival that you don't have to pay a fee to see. So we bring in big name entertainment. There's a mix of art, visual and performing arts. And it's all for free. The great thing about Artscape is that there are things to do outdoors and indoors. And I think some people, some of those times you forget about the things inside. So if you haven't been, this is your chance to go to Single Care Theater, to Theater Project, inside the Brown Center. So there are lots of things to do inside, not just outside or the three main stages. And I want to say that this is the largest, the largest free art festival in the country. We have a lot to be proud of in Baltimore. And the theme for this year is no passport required. Over 30 countries are represented here, from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. So I hope you come back tomorrow and on Sunday and enjoy all of the festivities. The turnout for our 2013 season has been great. We usually get over 300,000 folks over the weekend. We know that based on a survey that we did a couple years ago. So we probably figured that we probably will hit that amount too. And the great thing about Artscape is not only residents, but we get visitors from outside the city. They come, they stay in hotels, and that has a direct economic impact. We came up from Northern Virginia. Yep, from Fairfax. Um, I would do it again. It's, uh, it's not that far. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a good scene. It's a good uh, thing to do on a weekend. I think we're gonna come every year now. It's awesome. So we know the economic impact for the city is a little over $25 million for this weekend. So people are spending money and that money goes into the tax base. So it really helps the city. And not only that, people are spending money with the artists and that's so important. So if you're an artist and this is your livelihood 100%, and the good thing about Baltimore, it is an art buying community. So there's not just fine art, there's sculpture, there's craft, there's a mix of things that you can find new th unique things that you're looking for your house and they're made from artists. I mean, handmade, they're inspiration, and I think that's one of the things that makes Artscape special.
made him more sad than all kids. Uh, hi, I'm Sandra Sednak Engel. I live right here in Baltimore, Maryland. These are encaustic paintings. They're paintings done with beeswax, resin, and pigment on wooden panels. I melt down uh, beeswax with Damara resin. It's resin that comes from a tree, and work on heated palettes, add pigment to the wax, and then it becomes kind of a layered sculptural process fused together with heat. I think Artscape is an, is an amazing venue. Um, there, Baltimore is a very art-centric city and it gives people that live in the city an opportunity to show their work as well as for people to come into the city and just see what a great place it is and how diverse the artwork is here. Hello my name is Devin Mack I'm a wire sculptor here out of Baltimore Maryland and I am uh, creating a uh, jellyfish here out of aluminum. You really can't lose getting yourself a spot in Artscape it's a great festival though it seems like the whole city shows up there are hundreds of thousands of people around and uh, just good time. A whole lot of diversity, excellent bands, lots of great performance art, and of course the artists themselves are excellent. So I, uh, I've been about uh, 12 years as a wire sculptor and this is uh, my seventh artscape. Um, and uh, you know, when they'll have me, I won't miss it. Well, here in Baltimore, people seem to like there's sea life and I'm a big fan of the bay and the harbor and uh, I just find the lines of a jellyfish to be very interesting. So I'm just following my interests I suppose. Well so to any artist who's uh, considering applying for the show it's very competitive but uh, to get in is uh, well worth it. It's an excellent show and uh, it's hard to beat it's hard to beat the service. You can find me uh, at uh, drawnmetalstudios.com and uh, later this year I'm going to be opening a new gallery on Howard Street just about three blocks south of the BMA so look for me there um, and you can find me online. <laughs>for people who are looking to apply and to be a part of Artscape. We start the process in the spring. So for Artscape, a lot of those deadlines are early March because there's a whole review process. So just a reminder, people, you can are always welcome to call our office, the Baltimore Office of Promotion and Arts. You can go to the website artscape.org. A lot of the applications are up there to find out the information and just to apply and find out the rules because each year the themes change as far as visual artists and some of the performing artists, so it's a little bit different. We have a sound off competition because for Artscape, we only have so many slots on a stage for performances and we would love, love, love to book every possible local band that we could, but it's just not possible when you have so few slots. So we do a sound off competition to give the bands a chance to win those spots. So just as we prepare for 2014, we start early in the beginning of the year and we start putting out a call and decide what the visual artist exhibition will be. So just get ready for 2014. so come next year, plan on it. Don't make the same mistake twice. Yeah.
I came from Norfolk, Virginia, travel up from 4 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock in the morning to get here to participate in these activities. I'm Dan Vondroff. I'm a pastel artist and I live in Miami, Florida. This is my fifth year at Artscape. My name is Clyde Johnson and I am the Assistant Dean for Diversity here at MICA, the Maryland Institute College of Art. Would you walk that walk and talk that talk and whisper in my ear? The uh, theme of Artscape this year was international, so I still wanted to keep some of the international street art up here. And the meaning of this piece is going to be rebuilding, and I think as just uh, a world as a whole, we need to rebuild. Yeah. 